Iran says it can go back to where it was on the nuclear path in a matter of hours if the recent nuclear deal with the P5 plus one is violated. A few hours. A few hours. Yeah. We will not be losing anything. We will be pursuing our work. We will be pursuing our new peaceful nuclear activities. And uh, in, in the past 35 years, we have learned how to manage uh, ourselves in difficult times. Salehi made the remarks during an exclusive interview with Press TV. He said the Geneva nuclear deal, sealed last November, has provided an opportunity for the West to engage with Iran. He also stressed Tehran's readiness to continue negotiations on its nuclear program. We have always shown our good intention, but we hope that this time they really come with good intention and good faith. If they really come in good faith and with good intention, this is an opportunity that they can utilize. Otherwise, Iran will pursue its natural course, its uh, daily business. Uh, we will keep on negotiating. Not reaching enough kids. Salehi's comments came as 50 U.S. senators lined up behind a new Iran sanctions bill. Last week, U.S. President Barack Obama threatened to veto legislation introduced in the Senate last month, which could torpedo Iran nuclear talks. Iran and the permanent members of the UN Security Council plus Germany sealed the landmark nuclear deal in November. Tehran agreed to scale back on its nuclear activities while the other side consented to ease an estimated $7 billion worth of sanctions for a six-month period as negotiators try to broker a permanent settlement. Author and political scientist Kaveh Afrasiabi now joins us from Boston. Many thanks for joining us here on Press TV, Mr. Afrasiabi. Now, looking at Mr. Salehi's comments, it seems that Iran continues to show that it has come to the negotiating table from a position of strength, giving the international community, specifically the West, an option to engage with a country. Do you see it that way, too? Absolutely. And... What Dr. Salehi said today was uh, first expressed by uh, Deputy Foreign Minister, who was the Chief Nuclear Negotiator, Mr. Said Abbas Arakchi, in early January when he stated that uh, if the negotiations fail, Iran, in a matter of day, can go back up to 20 percent uranium enrichment. So uh, I think the uh, statement by Dr. Salehi is very important sort of a small wake-up call to the Western powers not to take Iran for granted since Iran has uh, implemented its part of the bargain and we have to see a full implementation of the other side's obligations stated in the Geneva Agreement and that went into effect roughly two weeks ago and we are at a very delicate time now uh, given the start of the uh, final uh, comprehensive negotiations uh, on February 18th, where both sides need to show good faith and political will in order for the talks to advance further. Now, speaking of goodwill, do you think that Iran's uh, actions to build trust and of goodwill with the West, specifically the P5 plus 1, have been reciprocated? To some extent, they have, and we have seen that the former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has come out in support of the, the agreement. The momentum for a new sanctions bill against uh, Iran in the U.S. Congress is fizzling out, and some prominent Democrats are also voicing concerns about this bill and so on. So, uh, you know, given the bumpy road ahead, we're going to see a lot of tactical maneuvers by Washington and other Western capitals involved in the negotiation with Iran in order to jockey for position. So we should not necessarily translate some of the uh, public rhetoric as the actual policies that are going to be put on the table at the negotiation uh, in, in, G in Vienna soon. All right, author and political scientist Kaveh Afrasiabi, they're joining us from Boston. It's always a pleasure having you with us here on Press TV, sir.